This is the follow-on video to the introduction to the Pitch Black Hunter video I made a couple of weeks ago. Um, since then I've uh, wanted to get some video recording equipment. The other videos I've seen of night vision on YouTube at the moment, uh, they, well, they tend to be uh, just someone with a camera trying to uh, physically video the back of the unit, whereas the Pitch Black Hunter's got a video out capability. Uh, the big benefit of that is that you can actually get the digital output of uh, what you see and record it. So uh, I've, I've, I've bought the equipment um, off of eBay, uh, got a case from Maplins, cut the foam out last night, and this is what we got. I keep the instruction manuals to hand on the top, and I've cut out the foam to store all the bits and pieces. This is actually the digital video recorder itself. It has a video inputs, two video inputs and one audio input. The idea is that it's for a home security system um, and you can record two cameras, you can take still video, uh, still pictures sorry, or video as well as an audio from one of the feeds. The Pitch Black Hunter only has one video output so two of these are redundant, I'm not going to use them. Uh, there's also then the video output and the audio output uh, which can go to a display so you can see uh, menu functions because the unit's menu driven, you scroll through menus, you can play back, switch between different modes of recording, uh, there's a preview function and record. So you do need another screen really because this will, will not feed back to the Pitch Black Hunter. You cannot use the screen on the Pitch Black Hunter to display uh, the output from the, the digital video recorder. Uh, there's also the power input. It doesn't have any battery capacity. It's It's got to be powered all the time. Um, USB output, on off switch, and it records to an SD card. Um, at the moment it's just got an 8 gig card in there. Should be more than enough because it only rev um, it only records in VGA, so we're not going to be getting high resolution stuff. That should record for a long, long time, uh, probably outlast the battery life. Also, we have security tester screen. It's just an LCD screen. It's got a built-in battery. Uh, there are speakers on the back. Uh, I didn't really want the speakers. You do get a little bit of feedback and white noise from that, so I might see if I can later on uh, disable that in some way. Um, on-off switch, uh, 5 volt input, um, this does have a lithium ion battery inside uh, so you do run this um, from the batteries and just charge it up. Uh, there's an AV input, um, it, has, it has the adapter to take the output from the digital video recorder, it comes with that and a 12 volt output. Again I don't really want to use that because I don't want to put any more load on the batteries that are already there. Got power adapters. The, um, the, the the video screen didn't come with a mains power adapter, um, so I, I pinched this off an old wireless router, uh, or rather, sorry, I should say that this the digital video recorder only came with a 12 volt cigarette lighter output. So I pinched this adapter off of an old router I had. I get loads of these adapters hanging around in the house that I don't need. Um, the, the television unit is powered by its own adapter, well, it's put, rather it's powered by the battery and that's recharged by the adapter. I've also got a cut out for the various leads I use. These, these leads I've, I've ripped down, they did have uh, red and white plugs on them as well, but I only need the yellow output, so instead of carrying it all around I just stripped it down. So power outputs, this is the adapter, this this goes into, this is just like, like a 3.5mm jack type stereo head put, that goes into the AV input and then just the yellow lead off of that uh, carries the video signal, the white one would carry audio uh, to the speakers on the back but we don't need that so it's not necessary. Cut out the phone, the case came from Maplins, it was on offer at the moment for 20 quid, couldn't leave that behind. So last night I took out all the cutouts, uh, didn't quite know what to do with this, so that's just been bunged on top, but it just keeps everything nice and safe. It's foam lined, they're in little blocks, I don't know if you can see on the video, but it's ever so easy to just take them out, it just keeps everything protected from knocks and scratches. Alright, let's 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 go through a setup then, uh, how we connect this stuff up to a Pitch Black Hunter uh, night vision unit. Take the pitch black out. 
Uh, we won't need the tube or the recharger. The battery's fully charged on that. Charged it up last night. I have been running some tests on the batteries, uh, but I want to get a little bit more information on that before I publish how long I think the batteries last for. Still early days. Uh, back of the Pitch Black Hunter, uh, as I showed in the last video. Power on and off, uh, fuse, the joystick to control the menu. You pop out the green button and that turns on the infrared illuminator on the front. Uh, and this is the video output. That's what we're really interested in. Screen folds out, it's a full colour screen. So what we need out the box, we need the digital video recorder, won't need the cigarette lighter, we need the screen to see what the menu shows. The power adapter that powers the video recorder, this has got its own batteries. And we need that to connect Pitch Black Hunter to the digital video recorder and we'll also need the adapter to connect the digital video recorder to the screen. I don't think we're going to need that for the minute so we pop that back clear everything else away. I take the, uh, the hunter unit, take the lens, lens cover off, open up the screen, let's turn it on, check that it works okay. Yeah, that works fine. You can see out the kitchen into the garden. So we leave that on for the minute. Or oh, actually, we turn that off for the minute. Get rid of the lens cap, don't need that. Digital video recorder. Connect with the sort of yellow video RCA onto there. There's only one output, you can't get that wrong on the uh, Hunter. Now we look, I don't know if you can see on the camera, V in one, video input one, that's what we want. Plug in there. Take off the other lead. I'm not going to be using that white one. Uh, normally I, I, I tear these down because they pull apart. But if you follow it all the way to the other end, <laughs> it's not going to tear neatly away because it's sort of heat seamed into the jack. So I'm going to have to put up with that one white lead, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, there's a screen. So AV input right there. In the plug goes. Yellow lead from the to the tele video output. That should be good to go. Just need to run. Excuse me to the that. It's just a 12 volt plug, the digital video recorder didn't come with it. Just any old one will do. Turn that around, flip the unit on, flick that on. Turn TV on. There we go, yes, very good. So they've got matching screens at the moment. This basically shows what this sees. So both screens are the same. It's got the chicken, actually the chickens are in the back garden at the moment. I don't know if I can show you on the screen by pointing that up. No, they've just they've just gone out of camera shot. Oh no, there's one. There it is. There they are. So you get the idea this this is how it works. So just to run through one more time. It's got an infrared illuminator for use at, light, uh, for use at night. Uh, camera, it displays what you see, it puts a crosshair on it which you can set up and choose yourself. But further to that, I then take a video output, put it to this digital video recorder, and then I see on this screen what the digital video recorder says because if I press for the menu, I don't know if you, if you can see this, up comes a menu and I can scroll through to select what I need to and get the unit recording. So that's the basic setup we'll be using. This is battery powered, this is battery powered, this needs a 12 volt input. It, it only comes with the facility from a cigarette lighter. Uh, so I'm going to be limited for the time being to keep it near a car or near a power output until I sort out some batteries, but I really want to get something rushed out now. 
Um, the, the big advantage of doing things this way is when you see other videos uh, of night vision hunting on, on YouTube, it's basically someone's got a camera they're holding and they're just videoing the screen and it's blurry, it's shaky, it's not very good. Whereas this way I will actually capture exactly what is displayed on that screen.